Hey YouTube, it's Mike. Um, I found this guy. We're uh, we just had a little warm spell. Um, he's a little bit shy, but I brought him in. Um, now he's still being trained. He's a bit like the fish um, to do his job. Um, although I'm not sure whether this is a boy or a girl. It is a ladybug, but apparently they can be boys too, which is just not right. Um, so anyway, that's what I've got. And the reason I've got it, which you can see that it's still in training. Um, where is it here? Focus. See that little white dot? That is, uh, oh, what did we decide? Like an aphid or something. Um, so I got a few of those that have come back. Um, if you watch the video from before, um, uh, where I had turned the plants upside down into the fish tank here. Um, the first time I did that, I'm trying to remember which time it was that I did it where I videotaped it. Um, the first time the fish kind of ate a few of the bugs off and sort of kind of got it, but not a hundred percent. Um, Trying to remember which tank it was because I have the two tanks here. The one tank I've put some uh, some guppies in it because they're a little bit more of an uh, insect eater uh, and and whatnot. Um, and these guys here, they're kind of still in training or something. They were not nearly as ambitious. Um, but the the fact is that all of the both tanks, the first time I put. My celery in upside down to let them eat the bugs off. Um, they they weren't overly ambitious, they, and they didn't seem to quite really get it. After a little bit, they had started to, um, and so they kind of the, the 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 insects kind of came back a little bit again, and uh, so I turned them upside down again. Only this time, there's a couple of things. One, I uh, I skipped a feeding. And gave them a bit of time so that they were really like when I put my finger on here and they're probably about due for feeding um, sometimes when they're hungry these guys are better at it they will follow your finger around when they're getting hungry enough and basically uh, at that point that's a good time to turn the celery upside down into the tank and uh, they'll actively um, go after things uh, this particular celery plant uh, it was one I saved from kitchen um, after I used the celery off it. It uh, I ended up tearing a bunch of the bits off it because the uh, the bugs were so established um, that there wasn't much I could do. Um, these plants I have been trimming off some of the lower stuff here and there um, because it seems like the uh, crotches or whatever term you want to use really tend to house um, a lot of these aphidy looking things um, so that's that uh, I have re-brutalized one more time my uh, raspberry plants I thought I'd show that um, but the the new growth is coming quite well um, now some of them maybe it's because I tied them this time I was starting to feel bad for my guppies in the tanks here. They were kind of always having to swim around these spiky bits. Um, take a look at this one here too. Um, so basically I was hoping to allow for more room uh, for the fish. Um, which means I've knocked back the raspberry plants themselves ever so slightly. But they don't, they don't seem to be terribly horribly affected it's not a big catastrophic issue um the other thing i wanted to go over and i gotta maybe i have to do another little blurb because i forgot it but there are fruit flies and such in here that are brutal um certain times i don't know if it would show up on camera but if i stir this up a bit you can see they kind of go crazy um and it's too bad because i mean really I'm, I'm hoping they're not making these plants droop any more than they need to. Um, these strawberries kind of hit the ground running hard. 
and took off. I noticed that I have the aphid things in here, plus I've got all these fruit flies. Um, so basically at this point, I am uh, I have uh, a product I'm going to test. It's kind of like a, a fly strip, I guess, for indoor plants and, and smaller insects and whatever. And uh, yeah, I got to figure out what's going on because these strawberries, like I say, they went from looking awesome to just really not so hot. And one of the biggest things I've noticed is a huge increase in the... Um, the uh, fruit fly population just buzzing around there. Um, although I do think here I've finally convinced a spider. Um, you probably can't see that at all, can you? Huh. Um, there's a spider web right in here. And I see he's got one fruit fly. But uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. And um, otherwise, i got to figure out. I'm guessing it's an insect issue. Um... This is my butter crunch lettuce, and it is not looking super healthy anymore. Um, I am growing this in. Uh, 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 come on, brain. Coconut hulls, or whatever they call it. It's like a non. So it's a soilless soil, basically. Um, and the romaine is starting to fade here and there, too. Um, now I see the uh, the ladybug thinks there's stuff on there, so maybe there's insects that I'm not noticing. Um, it was one of the fears, and it's one of the reasons that I haven't started the tomatoes yet. Um, I want to see if I can get this insect thing under control or come up with a good method or theory on it. Um, then I got to get back into starting some tomatoes and getting them going because I would love to have good sized plants uh, for spring to put out uh, and or plants and take cuttings off even and get them rooted out before spring. So here's an overall kind of uh, a glance at that. Um, I'm going to have to do a video. I've had this running for a little bit. This is one of those bottle units you see here and there. I just have it running into an empty fish tank here. Um, you can see the color of the water. That's the, uh, the, the coconut fiber um that's causing that and uh i messed with some of the stuff before and i thought that i would maybe run this through for a while um before i uh put plants in it and have it cycling through the fish tank um i think i have a fairly nice rate there as far as i'm concerned you just want it dripping out the bottom um and i don't know if you can see here but i've basically cut um three sections in these uh, i'm trying to remember if i did a video on this i put fish gravel down in here and here's the coconut and then it's just a string so i can rebalance however i want um so there's one bottle two bottle three bottles the fourth bottle i actually just cut literal holes in instead of cutting kind of the bottom off of the bottle and then a dip out for the plant to poke through um I left the top on and that's actually going to allow me to support the hose through here for the water going in. And uh, so yeah, I mean it's it's ready to plant pretty well now. I think it should be rinsed enough. Um, one of the things I have uh, for an idea is for this back wall, which is one of the reasons I haven't bothered. I found I have an old closet door which um, I don't remember what exactly happened. I think I had bought a pair of closet doors for a job, and one of them broke. They're the big um, mirror closet doors. So I'm going to see if I can find enough space to fit the one. It's a great big, huge um, glass-backed mirror, basically, uh, fiberglass-backed with... Uh, I think there's a frame on it, or maybe not, because I might have been, I have a tendency to cut those things. I'll buy them big so I can custom fit them when I'm doing a job. Um, and when you cut them, it's not an exact science because they have that fiber backing. Um, and I know I've had at least one of them shatter on me before. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's one of my thoughts. Um, 
I know I'm not getting quite the light intensity I would like. Um, now, whether that's me or whether that's just I'm noticing some of the plants seem to think that they could use a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, here's hoping that everything keeps going. Um, I'm, I, I've been suffering a few setbacks here in the plant department. Um, we also lost a fish. Um, and I have no idea what happened exactly. Um, she may have been old. Uh, one of the originals because she was a big big girl and uh, she basically just started moving slower and slower then her scales got all funny and then she croaked um, so yeah here's hoping that uh, things start to turn around here as I kind of dial in my details um, my insect control and this tank here I'm having a little trouble with water temperature this is where the one fish died too and i'm wondering if that's part of the issue is um there's a heating vent below here and i think what's happening is um when the furnace is pumping a lot of heat it might be warming this tank up more than i realized and unfortunately i had taken the thermometer out um to check another tank and so i wasn't really watching it and i hadn't really thought of it because i did I thought I had it fairly well balanced, but then during that last cold snap, I think what happened is that we were just pumping too much heat into the bottom, and it was uh, causing it to maybe warm a little bit more than it should have. These things here, I don't know, they don't seem to do much. Um, I didn't put it on, so maybe they do stop working with age, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I, uh, I looked, uh, the one guy had left a comment about, uh, I can't specifically remember the name of it, uh, um, it was a particular oil for these aphids, and uh, I didn't find any, but we're off season right now too, uh, most of my local greenhouse uh, planter stores are closed at this point, and you go to play the, the, the big boxy stores like the Walmarts and the Lowe's and whatever, and I mean, basically you end up buying something for a house plant. Um, they have hidden everything to do with uh, regular gardening plants. So, unless I find a specialty store, um, I might just have to get creative, which uh, I don't mind doing. So, anyway, that's a wrap. And hopefully, you see something uh, that maybe is going to... Maybe you'll have a suggestion or an idea that would help... Um, because yeah i mean it's we're not failing here but we're we're struggling to get get things kind of on a good schedule growing and uh hopefully hopefully i'm gonna be able to lick it with some of my next ideas all right thanks talk to you